Hey everybody, Tony D and another Holly Woke Hot Take with my guest, Little Joan. Little Joan, you sleeping? Oh, Little Joan's sleeping. She's so cute. Can I, can I show people how cute you are? Oh, I woke you up. Sorry. Sorry, but you're still very cute. Um, Holly Woke, Hollywood. So much going on today. So much going on. First up is the smallest thing. <laughs> Normally this would be huge. But this is actually small. Remember when they tried to censor the Mohammed uh, cartoons on South Park? Well, now that HBO Max is showing South Park, they removed them. Because apparently no one ever learns their lesson. No one. That's not even the biggest story. It's not even the biggest story. The big story is... Mike Henry, voice of Cleveland, um, is stepping down as the voice of Cleveland. Here's what he tweeted. It's been an honor to play Cleveland for, on Family Guy for 20 years. I love this character, but persons of color should play characters of color. Therefore, I will be stepping down from the role. To which I replied, well, at least in the future, you'll be able to voice someone too afraid to stand up for himself. Again, acting. You weren't doing... A bad thing, Mike Henry. You were doing a character who happened to be black. I I just don't get this. You guys are idiots for doing this. Um, you're just caught up in this wokeness and uh, shooting yourself in the foot. I mean, at this point, Family Guy is on it, kind of on its way out. I sense, but geez. This, I mean, I guess The Simpsons is going to be doing it too next. <laughs> uh, is this going to be the thing in Hollywood? You have to be uh, black to voice a black character. Do you have to be, do, does um, uh, Patrick Warburton have to step down because he's not actually disabled and he voices Joe? I mean, uh, does Patrick Stewart have to step down as the voice of the of one of the baby characters on Family Guys? Can Seth MacFarlane not do Stewie anymore because he's not actually a baby? Uh, and not actually a talking dog? I mean, this is ridiculous. But I gotta say, you know, for me, Family Guy went woke and I was out. I'm out of this. I used to watch Family Guy, Simpsons. That was my favorite thing to do on a Sunday night. I would watch Family Guy, Simpsons, Bob's Burgers. Love it. That was my Sunday, and I enjoyed it immensely. And then I'd finish the night with Rick and Morty and go to bed. Many a nights I would do that. I love my cartoons. Uh, but the woke brigade has ruined even those. You couldn't even let us have cartoons. Cartoons now all have to be woke, too. Um, this is idiotic. It is completely idiotic. Acting means you do the voice of a, of a character. A different person. Uh, hate to tell you, but I did all the voices in the Wokistan audiobook, which is coming out soon, I hope. And um, there are women. There are people of color. There are trans people. There are cis males. There are... There's, there's a Jewish main character. What are you going to do? I did all the voices. I, I'm the narrator. I, I'm, I'm almost none of those things. I'm a white cis male, <laughs> but not anything else. There's literally like every kind of woke category in the book. I did all the voices. I do them all again, too. I have no problem doing every single voice. Yeah. Yeah. So what? It's just a bunch of characters I made up. Mike Henry was just... I mean, he's been doing Cleveland for years. It's... You know, and I don't know... I don't know the background of how they developed the character, but... Could have just been they were all sitting around developing the voices and... Saying, okay, we're going to have Peter... 
and his family, but he should have his friends, like his buddies. And they probably came up with Quagmire first because he's very funny and he would be the single guy, you know, as opposed to Peter, the married guy. And um, they, they probably then added Cleveland because it was like, well, you know, we need to have a little diversity on the show, so let's add Cleveland. They may have developed the voice ahead of time and then decided, well, let's make Cleveland black. So there'll be a black character on the show. Maybe. I don't know. I don't know. I'm just guessing. But that could be the way it went down. And then later they added Joe because I think Joe was in an early episode. I don't think he was on the first couple. But then somewhere in the first season, I guess, he moves in next door to Peter. And he's like super handy capable. And that's sort of his character. Peter kind of hates him at first. But then he becomes his buddy. So, you know, who cares? It's a cartoon. And really, we're treating it this seriously? I mean, God. You know, I love cartoons. And even I don't treat them this seriously. I just stop watching them. I watch these shows. I watch The Simpsons, Family Guy, all these shows. I watch them since the beginning. Over 20 years. Simpsons, over 20 years. Family Guy, I guess, 20 years. Almost 20 years. Because I quit, like, after that Trump two-part episode. I just dropped them. Dropped them like that. As soon as they went woke, I was out. I, what do you have to offer me? You going to preach to me now? Simpsons, you're going to going to do an animated version of uh, The Squad and how wrong Trump is. Yeah, it's just what I want from a Simpsons cartoon. Politics. You guys used to have some of the best writers, comedy writers in the business. Guys who came out of Harvard, who knew things. Conan O'Brien being one of them. I believe he was the head writer at one point. Uh, Bob Odenkirk. And... Uh, Probably David Cross was in the mix too, I imagine, if Odenkirk was there. And um, a lot of people, a lot of funny people. Phil Hartman. Phil Hartman, who I didn't like initially when he was on Saturday Night Live, but then later I grew to like him more. I like them. I like most SNL cast members now after they leave the show. Like, I didn't like Chris Rock when he was on the show, but then after he left, I thought, oh, wow, he's really funny. <laughs> I, I think that's part of the, the whole Saturday Night Live thing. It kind of ruins people. It kind of ruins people while they're on it, and then they get off of it, and then they they use that to leverage a career. But, um, Jesus, this is just sad. This whole, like, well, you know, you got to be the same race or you can't do it because it's so wrong. It's so wrong to do a voice. You know, I, I guess, uh, you know, when they did that episode of Family Guy, when the English guys made made the, the clam uh, an English pub, you would have had to hire nothing but English guys to do those voices, right? I'm sure you would have flown them all over from Britain to do the voices because, you know, you would have been that exact, right? Yeah. Uh, what, what if you're going to do Southerners, right? You do Southerners on Family Guy. You make fun of them all the time. Are you actually going to get people from the South to do the voices. You're going to get actual New Yorkers when you need a New York accent because you did the New York episode where they uh, the New Yorkers come to see the changing of the leaves in Rhode Island. I mean, how far do you want to take this? Are you going to get people the exact age? I mean, why even do a cartoon? Shoot it live action if you're just going to get people who look like the characters. I guess uh, John Benjamin's going to have to quit Archer because he's not actually handsome. He's not actually a handsome guy who bangs a lot of chicks. So, and he's not actually kind of an alcoholic. He's not actually a spy. So I guess he can't do Archer anymore. Um, and also, I guess I guess maybe he could do Bob's Burgers. It, you know, assuming he's married with three kids and actually makes burgers. Oh, and I guess um, the voice of Linda, who's actually uh, a gay man. Yeah, you're going to have to get an actual woman to voice Linda, right? Oh, and Christian Shaw, who voices Louise? Yeah, she's not actually a child. Neither is you, uh, Gene. That's uh, Eugene Merman. Ah, guess he has to go too, right? And uh, uh, a boy, a male, voices Tina. 
guess you gotta rid of, get rid of that, that actor too and get uh, a young girl to voice Tina because that's the way it is now. That's the way you are, woke Hollywood. So good luck going down this path. Good luck uh, ruining all your shows one at a time. I, I, I never thought it would get this far. I really didn't. Um, you know, I, I used to dream of working in the industry. Now I look at it and just say to myself, God, I'm so glad I'm not there. I'd rather be living in obscurity now and doing YouTube videos that 840 people see. It's sad. It's, it's no longer even funny. It's just sad and pathetic. Holly woke is sad and pathetic. You've gotten woke. You're going broke.